Are you lift me up? Nope. Hello, test subject. Four, five, zero, nine. You have been in stasis for... 16 days and... Four decades. Welcome to the Aperture Science Long-Term Human Storage Vault. You have been selected to take part in a very special testing course. Federal regulations require us to inform you that the testing ahead may result in slight cases of sore throat or blurry vision or death. If you experience any of the aforementioned side effects, please do not hesitate to write them down in your test report. This vacuum tube will take you to your testing area. You will be further instructed there. Good luck. Welcome to the Enrichment Center. These automated messages will guide you through your test today. The door in front of you is programmed to open in approximately 20 years. This test can be solved in two different ways. Option one, wait patiently. Option two, time travel to the future. The choice is yours. However, if you prefer time travel, the Enrichment Center will provide you the means to pursue that option. The time portal will open and testing will begin in 3, 2, 1. Hello there, my name is Kraken and welcome to Portal Reloaded, where time travel is a Sensors thing. Sensors indicate that you have not... Welcome to the future. Time traveling through portals will be an essential part of this testing course. In order to help you distinguish between the present and the future, this part of the Enrichment Center has been left untouched for the last 20 years. You may see some signs of decay. Don't worry, the Enrichment Center is designed to withstand centuries without proper maintenance. You sure? Find a way to exit the chamber. All right, button, button it is. Click it, quickly, run, there's no run button. Welcome back to I, the I present. Crouch. If you are ever unsure which timeline you're in, simply observe your environment. The present should always look a bit cleaner than the future. A bit cleaner. Just a, just a wee bit. Just a just a this Aperture Science Test Subject Teleportation Device will dematerialize your body and rematerialize it in the next chamber. Ah. This process is absolutely safe. Is it? Usually. Usually? I mean, okay, These next but... chambers will involve cube and button-based testing with the perks of time travel. All right, so if I press a button, it has a timer that will last like 20 years. A and cube then... placed in the present will appear in the same position in the future. Moving a cube in the present will automatically update the location of the same cube in the future. 
Okay. This future version of the cube can be moved. Good. Please continue to the next chamber. Why well, ain't that fucking cool? Oh, huh. you lift me up. Understanding nope. the concept of cause and effect will be vital to solving the upcoming tests. Simply put, everything you do in the present has an impact on the future, but not the other way around. Right, so everything in the future doesn't have an effect on anything in the present. But... Can I bring, like, can I bring a cube with me from the future? I can. So that, so that means that, wait a second, if, if I move the cube, I move it down here right now, it's gonna be there, but then I go to the past and pick it up, or the future to pick it up. While it is impossible to bring a present cube to the future, this clever trick allows you to have two versions of the same cube in one timeline. This will prove to be very useful in future chambers. Okay. What is this? Come on down, buddy. Go on the button. But then now I want you off of the button. Can I bring a block from the past into the future? No. So now, now it's just gone. I lost a cube. It was lost forever. So now there's a cube here. If I wanna shove that cube there. That makes no sense. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Go there. Goodbye. Do that. Get another cube. something in the in the present to move on in the future but it's not like like even if that one's in the present I call a new one it still disappears so that, that that could have been good what happens if I put it under it and it happened? This doesn't go down. Alright. 
Uh... So I need I need to place this guy wherever I want it. Wait a second. Wait a second. Is Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Fine. Always remember. If you change the destiny of an object in the present, the future version of that object will be affected as well. If this sounds too complicated, you're in luck. The next chamber will only heavily rely on your understanding of this very basic concept. What basic concept? I was listening. I wasn't listening. Uh, I mean, I, I mean, I guess I can now use this to get up here, get myself a cube. Now you'll be gone. You down? Put you here, and then I'll I'll grab this guy because you don't need him anymore. I'll go up here. Right. You good? No? And what? Oh. Wait, what concept was it again? I think I got it. Not that. I got it. I got it. Okay, don't worry about it, alright? I got it. I got it, alright? I just need to turn around. To switch it to rubies. Turn it. All right, just need to get turn. Whatever the kids say these days. But then now that I pick this one up, now I'm gonna disappear. Oh, Good. Right. By now, you hopefully understand the concept of cause and effect, okay, and how I cubes do. behave in different timelines. Nope. Now, let's move on to something more interesting. All right. And now for the moment you've been waiting for. Aperture Science proudly presents the triple portal device. This marvelous device will allow you to place three different portals. For now, however, and to introduce you to the concept of portals in different timelines, the time portals will be placed for you. Oh, portals, I've missed you. Oh, portals, I've missed you. Am I still the same girl? No. Huh. Am I a redhead? It's kind of hot. Cool. A portal placed in the present will appear on the same surface in the future. Okay. Oh, uh, that's pretty cool. Wait, I'm in. Pretty sure I need. No, wait. I need to go the other way. Ah, turn around, man. Right, right. Whee. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I get it. I get it. Eh. A portal placed in the future will not override its existing location in the present. Good. Thinking in four dimensions means not only knowing where to place your portals, but also when. Right. <laughs> but also when. You know, Aperture, you really fall into decay. Evident by the second game. Video. Time portal only. 
What, Please mate? ignore that. The decay of this facility over the past 20 years may have caused the destruction of some portal surfaces. Try to find a way around this. If, okay. Like, hey, you. We have a problem. You solve it. That's, uh... Why is my blue still not in there? What's that about? The blue portal should be there. Blue. Time travel only, please. And I gotta do this in the old one. No? Not. If we go over here. Nope, oh, can't do that. Okay, gotta go to. Gotta go to somewhere new. Not sure if that does me any good, actually. That just puts me back where I was earlier. Which, uh, which honestly, I don't really think helps me, does it? I we'll spend all that time getting over here. But I guess I'll give it a shoot. Oh no, wait, so if I shoot the orange one here. No. Uh. Blue. Ship my blue, please. I'm gonna ship my blue. Oh, my blue. 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 Orange and blue. Oh. Right. So. Right, 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 right. Um. So, orange over there, refresher. Refresher. Okay, good. And then, we wanna, wanna keep it there. And then we have blue here. And we can do the, yeah. Nicely done. Take note. Because time portals exist in exactly the same location in both timelines, they can only be placed on surfaces which are intact in both the present and the future. This next chamber will involve the concept of momentum-based traveling through portals. You go in fast, you come out fast. Simple enough. Nice. Whee! Touching the material emancipation grills will cause any ordinary portal to fizzle. Time portals are not affected. If a portal closes in the present, it will also close in the future. So think about where and when to pass through them. Uh, yeah, okay, um, cool. Uh, let me, let me just take a gander. There, uh... Oh, this is where I need to go. All right, all right, all right. Webby. Right. 
meow. I don't need this. Um, give me a lounge pad. Boink. Is it because I can't launch? I need to go up higher in order to, to do this. Eh. It, you fall from a greater distance. All right, cool. Uh, here, and then we go uh, in here, and then we we shove it a poodle on uh, here, and then and then we shove it the orange in a y'all. Then we go to the future, where whichever portals we place aren't affected. That means we go like this. Turn this on, and then we still have our portals, so we can fly real far. There we go. Outstanding. Got it. Now that you know all the essentials, how about shooting some time portals of your own? Oh, I'll do that. I'll do some time portals. Do some time portals. Bye. Might just be that we'll do that next time. Bye.